Hi everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to see how uh, open page specific and in Bruno, how can work with open page speak doc. And the, for the people who don't know what is open page speak, open page speak is a popular way to document your API. So previously, uh, it's difficult to maintain API documentation and different organizations have different formats, different standards. So it's difficult to track and open API speak give the centralized uh, documentation, not specifically centralized, but the same format, the better way to read, the better way to execute and all the parameters, what is expected from the API while passing a data, while receiving a data, everything at one place. So you can read more about the open API speak from the official documentation from open API initiative, but in Bruno, how it works, how you can import a collection from open API speak. How you can create your open API spec and design inside a Bruno, which is Bruno provides you an editor where you can create your open API spec and uh, design that yourself. And how you can write your JSON YAML format data there. How you can open open API spec inside a Bruno. How you can work with collection and different stuff which we are going to see inside this video. So let's get started. So first thing we will do, we'll explore a documentation from Bruno. So there are a few features which are which are paid exporting collection as an open API file and viewing and designing your open API file. So you need a you need a Bruno licensing uh, for that. So Bruno have different uh, license like Ultimate and Pro where this feature comes in. So you can check out from the website. Go to website, use Bruno and check for the pricing plan and you can check out for what are the feature you want and whatever you want to use inside of Bruno. So you need a license for, but uh, creating a collection from open API format, which is free, which is in open source. So you can use that. So let's get started with import an open API spec. So let's open Bruno and let's see how we can get started with that. So I have this echo Bruno uh, collection. We don't need to do anything there while importing collection. There are two different options you will get. One is open API v3 file and open API v3 URL. So open API v3 file means you have a particular uh, YAML or JSON formatted collect uh, api so open with open api v3 file uh, option which means you want to open open api spec as a collection you want to import that uh, for that you need a valid json or yaml file so i have this name.yaml and i will just simply uh, we can choose pet store uh, which we are going to see in the next what is pet store api and how we can read about that so i will choose the same collection here i will just simply delete this because this is the same collection which I stored and I will import that. So right now my open API spec is open uh, as a collection is imported successfully and you can see all the endpoints, all the values, all the environments which I have and everything is here. So once you do that, you can execute this, you can do your work, bunch of stuff. So right now you will see how you can import from the URL. So if you go to pet store swagger IO, which is a pet store API, which we, which I already downloaded, you can simply just copy this URL and let's say you want to import a collection and click on open API v3 file. We just see open API file. Uh, you need a downloaded file in your file system, JSON or YAML, but you can also import from the URL. You can paste the URL here and you can say import and it will fetch all the data which you, which that I will just again, I have to delete this because of the same folder there and let's see. So we imported with a URL, we imported as a file which we store on your system, uh, which needs a JSON YAML file. Make sure that the format is valid, uh, open API format, JSON YAML, so it won't give any kind of value. So once you do that and change the environment, everything, every value will be there and close that. So that's how we imported. Uh, there are different APIs available on the Swagger. Uh, so Swagger is a UI editor which gives you this kind of UI for your open API specification. Uh, for your API, where you specify the different kind of endpoints, different kind of parameters which expects your API and bunch of stuff. So once you do that, let's get seen the documentation what next. So importing a file and importing from a URL, we see the both. So right now it's time for exporting. So export open API specification. So you, if once you want to, once you import the collection and once you created a collection and you want to export that as open API spec, which is a part of a premium, so you can do that. So let's see the documentation for the next gen, which we have, uh, for the open API specification is export collection as open API spec. So that's how you can op export open API spec. So you have a particular collection. Let's see. I have this pet store collection or this echo Bruno. You can take any collection. I'll go with this swagger because it's already have a valid everything, every information because we downloaded from here and which is a valid swagger website. 
uh, better to export this. So you want to export this collection as open API spec. So you can just simply say share and you want to export that and you want to export as open API specification. I will say demo and you have to choose the location. Again, we have, so you can just simply export here and that's it. So once you do that, your demo file is exported as open API spec and which is open inside of. So this is how you can, you can write your valid JSON YAML file. And once you do that, the documentation or the use case, it looks like the schema, which you have the expected value and application JSON for each and every endpoint. It's showing me a location because we store into a particular folder. So that's how it works. That's how you will see all the values inside of Bruno. I will just quickly close this because I store in my local system and it has a long path. So we will just simply close that Swagger Open API and what next? Uh, we can import, we can see and I will just quickly show you. So we have imported a collection from Open API spec file. We exported a collection to Open API spec file. Right now let's see what we, we are missing. Uh, we exported a file and this is the exported format which we see into a editor and Right now, create open API spec. And so first thing is view existing OS file. How you can do that and editing your own OS file. So thing here is you want to, you already have open API spec and you want to open that inside of Bruno and just to verify that everything looks better. Everything have, whatever you have document is, you want to just verify that. So you can click on that uh, open API spec document from here. And if you go to collections, uh, I have swagger, page store JSON and which is coming from here. So I have this pet API, uh, pet store open API spec uh, as a JSON file and I have all this data here which is coming from and that's how it works. So it's order, this is different endpoints and different schemas and we open open API spec inside of Bruno and that's how we can verify all the documentation, all, all things, how it's working, how it's not and you can also create an open API spec as well but I will show you how we can do that. So we open open API spec inside of Bruno and we want to open, we want to create your own open. So first to create your open API spec, you have to name as a, whatever the name you want to mention. I want to uh, just see sample as YAML and I will just skip it in this section because we already have a lot of data in open API collection folder. And from Bruno collection, if you want to create your open API spec from a Bruno collection, you can also choose that, but we are going to design our own open API spec. So that's why we are choosing the, selecting this blank spec and we'll do that. So I have the sample, I have nothing on my editor. So you need a format, which we are going to just copy paste here. And once you save this, once you write your own design stuff here, you can just quickly save. And I have this sample user API spec which I get from ChatGPT, which is not something that I created. So simple stuff, You, I have this three different endpoint, get post and uh, get a single user, uh, specific user with the ID and I have the schema. This is user input, uh, user. So that is something that you can uh, use to create your design, create your own open API spec design to do that and edit your existing open API spec. So if you have this and you want to edit that, you can edit a particular version to 2.5 you can save this and it's done it will show you uh, the changes from here so as you can see 1.0.24 it's showing the live changes here so that's how you can work with open api spec inside of bruno you can also share this uh, collection of open api spec with the help of uh, embed option right now you have to push it git repository i have created already a separate video on my youtube channel you can check out that how you can use that uh, but we recently added a feature where you can also share your open API collection or file. You can get the official documentation, how you can do that. So feel free to visit this open API documentation from Bruno and learn more about how it works and use Bruno to work with your open API spec. Create, design, import a collection, export a collection to open API spec. And this is how overall you can work with open API spec inside of Bruno. So thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video.